Hello, Pastor Karen Green from Bush Community Church in Leeds. Thank you for joining us again. I do hope that you and your family are healthy and safe at this time. There's a great song that we are singing at the moment that is so encouraging in these difficult times. And that is a chorus. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. I won't try and sing it. I'm very sorry, I don't have a good singing voice, but I know that many of you do, and it's an exciting chorus for us. There's something powerful about declaring who God is. The Holy Spirit in us rises up in joy, in excitement, in acknowledgement, in understanding, releasing that sense of, if this is my God, then I can do anything. I can overcome anything. Have you ever listened to Aaron Jeffries singing, He Is? We were at the Elim Conference many, many years ago now when we heard them sing it live. It was so unique and powerful. It made the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. And by the end of it, everyone was on their feet, cheering and clapping. Not the singers, but the song and what it was declaring. If you haven't heard it, you can find it on YouTube. Aaron Jeffries, he is. And what about S.M. Lockridge speaking, that's my king. Another one of those unique speeches declaring just who our God is that has you cheering at the end of it because the Holy Spirit inside you can't keep quiet when he hears powerful speeches acknowledging God's attributes. Let's take a little look at that chorus that I mentioned earlier. Waymaker. There was a song years ago that said, He will make a way. That's a still good one to sing when we feel backed into a corner with no way out. Don't know where we should be going, who we should be speaking to, etc. etc. We all feel like that at times. But then suddenly something or someone comes along and everything clicks into place. The road ahead is lit up. And you just know what you are meant to be doing. It may not look like you thought it should or be going where you wanted it to go. But you are 100% sure that is what God wants for you. The Apostle Paul experienced that in Acts, in Acts 16 verse 6 to 10. And it says this, Paul and his companions travelled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mycenae, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them to. So they passed by Mycenae and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. If you need the waymaker to guide you and make a way, just ask him. Make that part of your prayer today. He's the miracle worker. Of course, there is no doubt that our God is the miracle worker. The scriptures testify to that with Jesus raising people from the dead, healing the sick and setting people free from demons. And we can testify ourselves to miracles that we've seen or experienced. In our short time as pastors here, Dave and I have seen wonderful answers to prayer. There are so many but one of the first people I prayed with was a young man. He'd become unable to work because he had a heart condition and also something wrong with his foot. And the medications that he was taking for them, they were working against each other. Um, so if he took his foot medication, it made his heart worse and vice versa. So he was told that he would never be well again. We prayed. And when I spoke to him a few months later, 
he was full of life, still is, back to work and 95% well. God is the miracle worker. Pray today for that miracle that you or someone close to you needs. God is the promise keeper. The Bible is just full of God's promises and God can be trusted to keep those promises. Listen to just a few of them. Isaiah verse four, uh, chapter 40 verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. So many of us need strength. So many of us are weary and he'll give us strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. James 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. He gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. 1 John 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and he will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Pray today that you will see his promises fulfilled in your life and thank him for the promises you have seen fulfilled. And then God is the light in the darkness. This is something we so need to understand in the days that we're living in. When we walk and talk with God, he brings light and revelation into situations that we don't understand. Fear is darkness. Faith and truth bring light. John 8 verse 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life. 1 John 1 verse 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. When Jesus came, he brought light, revelation, forgiveness, cleansing. Fantastic. We can and do experience all this as children of God. But as well as saying that he is the light of the world. In Matthew 5 verse 14, Jesus tells us that we also are the light of the world. It actually says you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and to give glory to your Father in heaven. It excites me so much to see how much Christians are shining in these difficult days. The connection, the joy, the generosity that is seen is quite amazing. We are experiencing our Father God as the light in the darkness and we are finding ourselves being light, bringing glory to our God. How many of you had opportunities to bless and serve that you would never have had before? Then you are shining. Keep on shining. People need us and they need to see God through us. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you are so mighty, so able so powerful and yet so loving and kind. We thank you that with you nothing is impossible. Holy Spirit, when things get tough, help us to fix our thoughts afresh on our mighty and loving God. Help us to be the light that shines in the darkness for those around us whose life seems almost unbearable. Help us to be you in their situation. Amen. I'd like to leave you with a quote that's really encouraged me and I believe that I have to share it with you. And it's Andy Griffith said, I firmly believe that in every situation, 
No matter how difficult, God extends grace greater than the hardship and strength and peace of mind that can lead us to a place higher than where we were before. Take care.